Highland News Midday Update is sponsored by Soldier to Soldier, Hawaii Realty. Happy Wednesday, Hawaii. I'm Lindsay Fukano with your Island News Midday Update. Breaking news right now, widespread flooding in Maui in the area of Kahului. And taking a look at the map, the intersection of Wakea and Pu'unene has been closed completely. Also, a flooding advisory issued at Alamaha and Wakea. And this right here, a video of Pu'unene and Wakea, where Wakea Avenue nearly underwater. So be careful if you're traveling in the Kahului area, especially Wakea Avenue. Flash flooding underway in the area right now. And this right here video from a Maui resident taken of Dairy Road in Kahului. Alamaha Street and Dairy Road now closed. And you could see the magnitude of the street. It's just getting pounded. Again, expect flash floods in Maui until 2 p.m. today. A traffic alert for drivers. If you need to take Manoa Road today, you're more than likely to run into this. Border water supply crews working to repair a broken water main between Lani Huli Drive and Ahua Lani Place. Now lanes in both directions of Manoa Road being contraflowed in the area. New at midday, modular housing units are now being transported to a permanent location in Waianae. It's all part of a new city plan to combat homelessness, and the housing units were moved from the Honolulu Harbor to a permanent spot at 85-248 Farrington Highway. That's next to the Maluhia Lutheran Church, so you may have experienced some traffic slowdowns on Farrington Highway as the oversized loads were escorted by Honolulu police to Waianae. Now, once the units are in place, this is across again from what in Malahua Lutheran Church. This is what you can expect them to look like. These images, renderings from the city, and the project will include a total of 16 units. That's a look at your midday update. I'm Lindsay Fucano.